Cartagena. We just enjoyed our final breakfast at La Esquina de Pandabono, and as usual, it was delicious, but now it is time to head to the airport. So probably about four Canadian dollars, three US. We are now at the airport and we're gonna head to a lounge. It's time to give you our lounge review for the Avianca Lounge in Cartagena Airport in the National Terminal. Now, we had read some reviews about this lounge before we came here, and unfortunately, they were pretty accurate. What is there really to say about the food? It's a little bit lucky on the ground, to say the least. There's really not much choice. And while some of the food that you get may be warm, there definitely isn't any hot food options under the soup. The pastries are average, the sandwiches are also pretty average, the fruit's not even that nice. So yeah, really it's just an all-round disappointing experience on the food front. So with that, unfortunately we have to give this one a two. As for drinks, they do have coffee machines so you can get a pretty good selection. They also have quite a large fridge that contains water, juice, and pop, and it's all takeaway. So that does elevate how we're ranking drinks. However, the main thing that we're deducting quite a few points for is the fact that the alcohol is only available from 2 p.m. onwards. So with that, we're giving it a 4 out of 10. Cleanliness wise, this is a perfectly clean lounge. The only reason we're rating this down a little bit is just because of the frequency of being cleaned up from. So with that, we're just giving this one a seven. As for comfort, while this isn't a huge lounge, there are also not many people in here, so it feels like you have enough space. There are a number of different seating options, whether that's tables to eat at, a business center or just chairs to relax in however they have no resting room or anything like that but overall it's actually quite good so we're giving it a 7 out of 10. Regrettably as far as amenities go the options are a little bit thin on the ground. There are technically outlets and charging ports but they're only in a particular section of the ground which is not what we're used to and there's really not a massive amount else on offer for you and on top of that the toilets are outside the lounge which is again not something that we are accustomed to so based on that in comparison to other lounges we're going to be giving this one a five the grand total for this lounge is 25 out of 50 and that's pretty accurate it's actually the second lowest lounge i believe the lowest lounge was in egypt but that seems pretty fair based on what we've experienced all the same we do realize how lucky we are to even be in a lounge and that the fact that we have free food and free drinks 
and nice chairs to relax in before our flight is definitely a privilege. So now that we have enjoyed this, it is time to go get our flights. So, I'm going to be back. And just so that everybody knows, this cost 195 Canadian for the entire stay, so it makes it about $39 per night. But let's check it out. So, first of all, we have a little kitchenette here, We've got some tables and chairs here, got a Wi Fi password, thank God. And then we also have a little kitchenette here. Apparently, the Water is potable, so we don't even have to worry about the drinking water or anything like that. Plus, we also have some already available in this fridge here, which is a huge space, and we're going to definitely take advantage of that. There is now obvious cooktop. That is because it is available in here, so we'll just plug that in whenever we need to cook, which is excellent, super helpful, especially since groceries in Colombia are pretty cheap. Otherwise, we have a microwave. We've already been given some coffee, so we don't have to go out and buy that, which is so thoughtful because we do love our coffee. And then when we come around here, if we want to relax, if I need to do some editing, I always enjoy a desk. I am a desk guy, so this is just perfect for me. And then otherwise, what looks like a very comfortable couch leading to a TV, which I hope has cable for the Euros, which would be great. And then let's just go through to bedroom here. We have a lovely what looks like a queen size bed which will be very very nice indeed and of course a little bedside table here and we have an open wardrobe here but we also have extra blankets if we need them. Towels are already provided in this drawer and obviously this is a space for us to use as well which over the course of five nights we probably will end up taking advantage of. And now through here the final part is the bathroom, and so you've got your funkily designed sink here, which looks pretty cool. And then you've got a little corner shower cubicle, which looks excellent. Obviously you've got your toilet, and then a sink, and it comes complete with an additional mirror and soap and everything else. So looks like we've got a very nice place for the next few nights. And now that we're here, we have zero other plans for today, but we definitely do have quite the set of itineraries lined up for our time here in Medellin. So please do come along with us for that. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>